My dear friends, what is happening in our country in the name of religion? And I think yeah, it is firmly accepted that religion is something personal. Our faith is something personal. Of course, we may have temples and mosques and gurdwaras and churches, but there must be no violence in the name of religion. When we say that India is a secular country, where is that essence of secularism gone? What are we doing to our nation in the name of religion? Students are on the streets. People are outside. They are breaking things and the political masters are sitting in their rooms and they are masterminding everything and just for political gains they just want to be into power anyhow and for that power they are using our people what is happening to our society our freedom fighters had given their lives for a vibrant india a lovely india a country of their dreams but what are we getting these days in the name of religion people are being incited and there is violence across the country what are we doing now Someone is shouting in the name of Islam, someone is shouting in the name of Hinduism, someone is shouting in the name of other faiths. But is it the value system that we have inherited from our ancestors? What is happening to India today? On the world platforms, we are moving and we are saying that India is a great country, India has had a rich past. But what is happening to the present state of the Indian nation? It is a really a shocking experience to see the phase, the feel, to feel the phase that India is passing through. And everybody must get ahead, move ahead to do something for the country. Of course, quotations are there and political masters are trying to brainwash the people into believing that their particular religion or in the name of religion, anything can be done. But no religion, my dear friend, permits violence. And what is happening across the country is violence and only violence. The new generation is being brainwashed. The old people are shocked and the liberals are shocked very much. And the hardliners are having their way. And what's the government doing in this regard? It talks about all the great achievements at the world platforms. But what is happening really to our country? Our children are shocked because they are not getting any source of inspiration from our political masters. And they don't understand that they are being used for political gains by the political masters. So India needs some leader, some leaders who can guide the nation along the right path. and. The unfortunate thing in our country is that when a person gets into power, then power begins to corrupt him. And as Lord Acton had already said earlier, power corrupts a man and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So what is happening to our nation? Don't you think that India is moving on the wrong track? Is it the country that we had ever dreamt of? No, no, no. India needs to change, but that this change must be for the better. And we are saying that we are a secular country, but in the name of religion, in the name of Islam, in the name of Hinduism, and in the name of all other isms, India is feeling divided today. Indians are no more inspired today. There is a lot of brain drain. People are going outside the country because India is not taking care of them. And it is the political masters. It is the bureaucrats who are not taking care of the people. And the physical pleasure is running on their mind. Everything materialistic has begun to dominate our way of life. India must do something. India must rise to the occasion. The students who are the pillars of the nation, they are the backbone of the nation. They must get ahead and do something for the welfare of our country. There are roads which are broken. There, there are schools that are broken. The buildings are broken, but nothing is done for them. And instead, the name is taken of different religions. And in the name of religions, people are having debates on television channels. This all is happening, but no one is taking care of the children. The people who belong to the poor stratum of society. Who is going to take care of all these things? Don't you think it is necessary for us to feel the pulse of time and move ahead? And this is very necessary today. I feel shocked. I feel disturbed because whatever I learned in the textbooks that has hardly any truck with reality today. So this much for today. Thank you for watching me. Thank you.